Leon, Omar, Mason. And everyone calls me Omar. I'm finishing up a 15-year sentence for bank robbery, for deadly weapon, and I'll be released in about three weeks. I've been in and out of this prison system for 30 years, and as long as I've been able to stay in the streets for six months. My fear will be not being able to adapt to the society out there and fulfill all the goals that I've set for myself. That will be my greatest fear. What we're hoping to do is to build a system to help everybody leave prison in better shape than they came back in because we don't want you to come back. Transition is inevitable. You're getting out of here. Transition with change is a choice. It's optional. And <clears throat> basically, I know it's not an easy choice because historically, once your time is over, it's not goodbye, it's see you later. Because if nothing has changed, nothing has changed. And then you're thrown right out there to have to try to fend for yourself. We've identified some barriers that you guys are going to be faced with, trying to figure out where you're going to live, where you're going to get bus fare from. How are you going to get to get your ID? How are you going to get to your parole agent? Just how are you going to pay the $40 fee that the parole agent requires? We'll get you connected with substance abuse treatment because at least 90% of the guys that we deal with coming out of here has a history of substance abuse. And substance abuse doesn't die just because you get locked up. So whatever it is you need to do for you to continue to move forward. Any other comments? A lot of guys, they know about this program, but they won't participate in it because they say, hell, I'm at the door. I'm going home in 60 days. I'm going home in six months. Ain't nothing they can do for me. But a lot of them guys, they don't want to save their lives. I'm trying to save my life. This is my haven right here. Most of my time, I spend right up in here. It's not a night go past that me and Omar don't lease an hour, hour and a half, two hours, share our day. I look forward to talking to them at night. I've always had a real tight tie with my family. Omar don't. So a lot of times, Omar runs into things, and he need to come and vent with me, say what he's going to do, and wait for and see what kind of response I get. He will not let go of prison. He said, man, it ain't, it's just like being in the joint. Hell no. It ain't like being in no joint. Ain't no bathroom in you. In the joint, you got a bathroom in your room. I said, no, nah, there ain't like no joint. I just prefer being in you, Omar. Let's have a moment of silence for something added in and out of the rooms. This is a home, man. You know what I mean? And you will come to see. Everybody ain't going to get along. Sometimes we're going to have them little phases. With Prison's you. a lifestyle. Some of us shed it quicker than others. Some of us never do. Some of us use it as a um, reminder. Me, I got lost for 19 years and nine months. I sold dope, I shot dope, I robbed people. I go broke and I go back to prison. That was my cycle and I lived for that. What's really keeping me where I'm at today is because if I ever go back out again as far as using drugs, I'll die this time. And I know it because my pride and the shame will never let me come back. 